once opioid use disorder is diagnosed, there's no one common solution. Okay, but there is a common goal. You know, what's the common goal? Is to get you off, okay? And I want to get you off the opiates, okay? The next best thing is I want you to cut down. If I can't get you off, I, m I might uh, hopefully get you to cut down. And if I can't get you to cut down, I want you to be very, very safe, okay? And being safe might mean, you know, cleaner needles, having naloxone around, okay? And, you know, certain, certain things, you know, if you do drugs, you know, do with somebody else, et cetera, just realize uh, who knows how to use naloxone, okay? I think once you get to a certain level of opiate prescription, you know, it's pretty standard that people give out naloxone. And naloxone now is over the counter. Um, I have mixed emotions about it being over the counter because it's a little bit more expensive. And in states like ours, they were giving it out for free in pharmacists. All you had to do is kind of ask for it. So hopefully we're still gonna continue to do that. The World Health Organization, the FDA, has three drugs that have been FDA approved to treat opiate use disorder. One is methadone, the other is buprenorphine, and the other is naltrexone, okay? Hopefully you guys have heard of them and used them, okay? Now, if you see these um, tables there, okay, you see the, the one table on the right there, kind of like two black lines there, okay? That's a Kaplan-Meier curve, and it's kind of like when they separate, you know, last time you see those in cancer research, it's like what percent are alive, okay? So on the buprenorphine line, you see what percent um, actually are still drug-free, still drug-free, you know? And you see that when you're randomized, what percent are not drug-free, or what percent go into withdrawal, okay? What percent go into withdrawal, and you see those separate really, really quickly that, you know, you're gonna get withdrawal and, you're potentially gonna use more drug, okay? Whereas if you're on buprenorphine, uh, the likelihood is much, 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 much less. Another way to say that is there's great evidence in randomized controlled trials in multiple populations that buprenorphine is a benefit. A lot of people say it's substituting one opiate for another. 